welcome. Um, but officially welcome, we were just getting organized and letting everyone hop on. But thank you for joining Lauren's VIP Beauty Lounge. We do this every Monday at 8 p.m. Um, special welcome to any guests that may be joining us for the first time. Um, our goal with these is really honestly just to have fun, to laugh, to learn, but mostly just to have a good time and have a, a girls night out and connect. I shouldn't say girls night out, men are welcome too. Men have skin and they need to take care of their skin also. Um, so tonight we have our skincare challenge achievers as our featured guest um, for our beauty lounge. And those of us that are partnered with the company, we have an opportunity to really keep ourselves on track and hit our business goals by going for these different corporate challenges. So we actually have a world conference coming up. So Vina, Bobby, Annette, and a handful of other um, achievers uh, are joining us. So I'm super excited about that. And I wanna congratulate them for such a big accomplishment personally and professionally, especially during a year where there's been so much change you have really um powered through and made the most of things and made a difference for your customers and your partners and that's what it's totally all about um so if you've been joining us for these beauty lounges we're, we switch the topic up each time um and we're really sprinkling in skincare and cosmetics and self-care to these sessions and our goal is to always teach you something new so I am not the skincare expert, but I am an avid skincare consumer, um, but we do have some experts as panelists tonight that are going to be all just chiming in. So we're going to have fun tonight. We're going to keep this pretty casual. Um, we're just going to jump in and chat just like you would if we were all hanging out in someone's family room together. Um, so I think the goal is to help everyone cleanse their skin. Then we're gonna put our volcanic mask on. And while this is on for 12 to 15 minutes, we'll really kind of dig into how to approach your skincare for the seasons or through the seasons, because we don't wanna use the same regimen every day of the year for year after year. <laughs> so um, I think that's a big goal we have. So um, I'll just share with you what I'm doing to cleanse my skin before putting on the mask and then maybe our panelists can each share what they um, chose to use. We are a product brokerage company, meaning we outsource, um, you know, our manufacturing to creme de la creme of vendors that make the best products and we, our team works with them on exclusive um, ingredients and patented formulas. So everything we have is best of the best. And we feel comfortable saying that because we don't manufacture anything. We outsource all of that. And we find people who do the manufacturing, but we do um, control the process and have a lot of quality control, which is really, really nice. But having said that, it's not one size fits all. So we encourage you to really find a skincare system that works for you. Our goal is to give you access to the best products in the marketplace at an affordable price, but then you get all of us, the education behind it. Um, so I know we actually have a skincare goals landing page on our Motives website, and we'll get that link to you in the chat tonight. So if you're new uh, to looking into our brands or you're a new customer or even a new business partner and you're not sure where to start, that's a great educational resource. Um, if you're on the go like me, like I had a very busy day of work and then I was just in my son's room helping him read an assignment and do some homework. And then I rush down here and I use my Motives Makeup Wipe and the Micellar Cleanser. Um, so that's not my normal go-to, but in a pinch, that's a good option. But we do have some other cleansers from different brands. So uh, I don't know, Lee, Vina, Bobby, Annette, if you all wanna share and Christine, I'm not sure what you got going on if you're, if you're playing along tonight or not, but. What did you choose tonight? Yeah, so I, I actually cleansed my skin um, right before we came live and I used our Lumi de V cleanser. Um, I use this one right now, this time of year. And then sometimes I switch to skin intelligence just based on how my skin is doing. Um, this one is very nice and gentle on my skin. I like how it suds up and yeah. yeah. Texture is a big thing for people, right? Like yeah. if you want a milky cleanser, you can use Skintelligence. 
Um, the Lumiere is great for sensitive skin and it does have like a nice foamy. What are you using tonight, Vina? Yeah, uh, I'm doing the same. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. I use the Lumi de V and, and a lot of it is because I do have a very thick skin. Mm -hmm. And that being said, I really want that cellular turnover, but also because I'm traveling so much, I'm in different climates. And so because the Lumi de V cleanser has the panthenol or the B5, it's very um, hydrating to my skin mm -hmm. and it's very soothing for my skin. So that I already did that. And it's, it's, I can't imagine not using that particular cleanser. I really, really love it for my skin. And I have sensitive skin. I saw Bobby was using the same mm -hmm. LDV. Yeah. Annette, you too, LDV is a fan favorite. Oh, Annette's got the cell lab. So tell us why you like that system, Annette. Well, I'm, you know, older, so <laughs> I like the de-aging effects with this. And um, I, I, I mean, I go back and forth and honestly, I use the Timeless Prescription in the shower for my first wash. Then my second wash, after I get out, I use the Cellular Labs. And I, I, like, the, um, I, I like the foamy action with it. And it just makes my skin feel so soft. So I use that and the, the uh, Cellular Labs toner as well afterwards. Lisa, you're muted. <laughs> She's still muted. Um, you're muted. Am I unmuted? Yes, now you're unmuted. Oh, okay. <laughs> my husband just ran in. I was trying to get my dog out of here. This is real life, okay? Um, <laughs> I was just going to invite Amelia to say something different if she wanted to add anything to our, which cleanser you were choosing, Amelia? I thought you guys were telling her she was muted. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Sorry for uh, kind of like uh, running after you ladies because I was trying to get in, but thank, thank you, Vina. No um, yeah, I'm, my favorite is the uh, uh, cellular laboratory. This is the one that I use every day. Um, I just find it's good for my uh, aging skin. Yeah. Um, it's really, uh, you know, I have very sensitive skin, but this, um, this line of product has really been uh, great. I mean, not only affordable, but it's a really high-end quality. And I've never had any problems with my skin. I mean, you can see this is a no makeup face that yeah. I have right now, except that I put, I cheated, nope. I put something on my lips. Um, <laughs> but the whole face, there's no makeup right now. So you can see how good this uh, skincare product that I've been using. And even when I talk to, um, you know, I have a Polynesian skin from the Pacific. So when I talk to uh, women, we went to school together. Um, you know, I have a, a group every Saturday night that we get online and most of them are Fijian Pacific uh, women. Um, I share what I use, right? Awesome. So they really love this. And most of them, I've been selling this kit a lot because I said, you know, for my age group, if you want to know what I'm using, yeah. this is it. And then every now and then, you know, I just um, kind of like, I uh, use uh, the Lumia de V, which I like as well. I have it right here, sitting here. Um, it works very well. And there are some products that you can't use together, but I've been really amazed with the products in our company. I use them together and I don't get any reaction. And this is coming from an extra sensitive skin person here. I love that. So actually a lot of people said they had sensitive skin and you can see all of our brands are um, accommodating for that, which is nice. Yes. Um, so Christine did uh, put um, a few chats up, um, a link to take our skincare analysis. If you've not done that yet, that's a great tool that we offer on our website that'll guide you based on your, your skin type, your lifestyle, your preferences, things like that. It'll give you a custom regimen. Um, but just to recap, so we have four different cleansers, four different brands. Um, and what we're focusing on tonight is a cleanser, toner, moisturizer in one of those four systems. Um, and then we're going to specifically talk about exfoliating. Um, but then we'll share some other, you know, of our fan favorites, of course, 
Um, but little recap on the skintelligence line. So this is an example of what it looks like. Um, this is a hypoallergenic. It's our most um, economically priced line. Uh, it has botanical extracts in it, which are very calming and soothing. Um, so I love this line for someone who's new to skincare or someone skincare on a budget, but don't confuse that for not high quality because actually the ingredients in here are really great. Even Dina, who had a, her own studio for a long time, is, is nodding her head on that. Um, then we've got the Lumiere de V-Line, a lot of you were touching on. So that is Light of Life. That's uh, probably our most popular line with the most products in it. Uh, we're always adding new goodies to it. So we'll, you'll hear about some new serums and treatment products coming up soon. But that line is incredible for sensitive skin. Um, someone who wants to start being preventative about aging because there's a lot of very high quality ingredients in that line or that system as well. Um, cellular laboratories, you saw Annette and Emile were holding that up. That's great for anti-aging. It's very soft, very gentle, um, but helps with brightening and like I said, anti-aging. And then timeless prescriptions. I think someone mentioned that. Um, that is an enzyme-based line. Um, and to me, that's anti-aging as well, but I always feel like it's best with more normal to oily skin as it's deep cleaning, um, it's more firming, whereas the Cell Labs is great for sensitive skin, very dry, dehydrated aging skin as well. So why, why we talk about these four different options is because as your skin changes, as we evolve, right, or get more vintage, as Annette says, um, you know, you need <laughs> You need to have your skincare change with your needs um, and just like we do seasonally. So enough from me. So Lee, do you want to share about the uh, volcanic mask? Yeah, well, let's, let's just all apply it because we wanted to kind of sit on our skin for a little while. So grab your tubes and like, honestly, you guys, like I like to use a brush to apply it. You can actually use your foundation brush if you have it um if you have this is actually a skincare brush for masks so you can use that and i like to just of course i cleanse my skin and don't tone it or anything yet you don't need to do that but of this mask you only need a tiny bit it's not like a very thick mask and so just lightly apply it <laughs> like war paint here <laughs> it is and you just want it to be able to you want to see it on the skin but it doesn't have to be so thick that it's you know what I'm saying like you just want to see a little bit because I feel like people maybe overuse it and it smells like I wish we had smell a vision but it smells so good it's like kind of like minty fresh but earthy at the same time we're all going to look a little sickly here in a minute because it's like green and gray. It is a detoxifying mask, right? Vina, I don't know if you want to talk about that. So as it sits on your skin, it kind of changes colors too, right? Yeah, I, I love that. It, it's, it's really, it's that polypeptide three. And what it's doing is it has a unique uh, technology that's actually helping to lift the skin cells, which is awesome, but it's not drying out your skin. And that's what's really important. And, and if I can, especially for the women that are concerned about their neck, listen, there's no shame in exfoliating your neck, can I tell you? You know, and that's the one thing as an esthetician that I do see a lot mm -hmm. of is that people will stop at their jawline. Yeah. Well, listen, you know, when people run up to me and tell and ask me, can you tell me how old I am? I don't look at their face. I look at their neck because that's what's really going to show, right? But I do, I love all these ingredients. The pumice, if you guys are feeling that little pumice, that's the, that's the little bit of um, powder that's helping to lift off the, the dead skin cells. So this is really can be done as a, a chemical exfoliant or a mechanical exfoliant just depending on what type of skin you have, right, Lee? It's, you know, if you have sensitive skin, but here's the other thing too. If you noticed everybody, we were putting it below mm -hmm. the eyes, not up underneath the eyes. You don't want to do that, mm -hmm. okay? 
the this is not made to be put up underneath the eyes so you just want to and you don't have to do a lot with it just make sure it's on there exactly and i know people are asking does it work for dry skin this is great for any skin type um just based on like your skin type you might want to use it less or more and just kind of feel it out on your skin um for me it works great usually about twice a week and what I love about it is it dries so fast. So it doesn't take a lot of time to apply it even in the morning and then just get in the shower and remove it that way. It doesn't have to be this long drawn out like spa night, which you guys deserve that too. But if you kind of find yourself not having time for yourself, just get up in the morning, cleanse your skin, put this on, let it dry for like even five minutes, pop in the shower and we'll show you how to remove it. But as it dries, it's actually kind of pulling all of those impurities out of the skin, but it's also like cooling and soothing it as well. So I, I like this because it's like a two in one mask almost, right, Vina? It's like, yeah. It, yeah. it's gonna draw those impurities out, but it's also going to exfoliate. So, you know, it yeah. does a double purpose there. I love that it soothes and hydrate your skin as well. But it's got that, that smell you guys keep talking about. That's that sweet almond smell. Mm -hmm. So that's the smell that you're smelling really is that sweet almond smell and, and the olive oils. And I mean, the, it's just so hydrating to the skin. There's a lot of masks that tend to be real stripping. This doesn't strip the skin. This is encouraging that cellular turnover. So again, I'm gonna go back to it, all ages. So it doesn't matter yeah. if you're in your teens or you're, you know, over 50, and we're just going to leave it at that if you're over 50, right? <laughs> right, and that's okay. It's, it's going to help with that cellular turnover. So if you're younger, it's going to just really brighten your skin and get all the, all the impurities that are clogged in your pores out. And as we're older, because as we age, we slow down our cellular uh, mm -hmm. turnover, it's going to really help pop that cellular turnover and, and for me, I mean, I can't speak for everyone else, but I'm going from state to state to state. Like, I, you know, instead of where's Waldo, it's where's Vina, right? <laughs> and so depending on what state I'm in, I'm like, oh my goodness, I've been changing my regiment. <laughs> so it's almost like I've been going through the four seasons right now. Right? But I, this, right? I love this. I love, I love no matter what state I'm in, this for me is at least three times. I would use this three times a week for me, so... And I'd love to, like, with the change of season, it's a good time to kind of evaluate your skincare routine and just look at your skin and think, okay, like, what does it need right now? Like, where I live, the climate is so extreme from winter to summer. So I tend to do a little bit more exfoliating now going into springtime, and I might change up, like, my treatments a little bit, which, you know, we'll talk more about in the upcoming months. Um, but if you're like, you know, I really should start exfoliating and I should start using a mask step, like this is the perfect one to add to your regimen. And like, I've had this tube for so long. It does really last a long time, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm like, I, I like had to make sure I had enough for tonight, but I have plenty left even after applying it now. So yeah. it's definitely worth it. So how is yours feeling? Mine is pretty much dry. Yeah, mine's mine's real dry yeah. too. But like this is the this is the best part of it, it's right, dry. Lee? I mean, you guys, you yeah, can you either guys, decide like, ready to remove it. So now, what I like to do is get my fingers wet, and once you get your fingers wet, you can just start going in a circular motion, and you're gonna feel the pumice that Vina was talking about and you can just kind of scrub, but it's going to be gentle enough because not all scrubs are good. So not all scrubbing motions are good for your skin. But this one is going to be gentle enough where it is for all skin types. Well, and you know what, Lee, the other thing too is that, you know, some people have areas on their face that they really want to work on and get that extra dead skin off. But then for people like for myself, I have very sensitive areas that I want to be a little more careful of. So I'll not scrub that area. So just go to that area and listen, here's the other thing. Your skin is not leather. Do not, you do not have to do really, really hard. You literally can let the products work. 
you reactivate that product when you have water on your on your hands it's reacting reacting to the water so it's going to literally lift up the dead skin cells which i i really do love and, and again, i like to scrub my lips a little bit too with it well, especially yeah. up here the lines right lee i mean the lines right here for me it's as i've gotten older it's like wait wait what how how did what, what's <laughs> going on here <laughs> right <laughs> see look at these ladies saying yes <laughs> yes and don't forget to kind of get the dry skin out of like your brows and stuff too right just a few points I think worth reiterating this mask this whole line Lumiere to be is designed for all skin types and you've heard some people saying they have dry skin I have more oily skin larger pores like really it feels so good right now it's like tingling after i rinse it all off um it's so refreshing someone lee touched on this but again just reiterating this is the question we hear a lot you know if i have dry skin sensitive skin aging skin should i be using this type of more of like a physical exfoliator and the answer is yes um i think one big misconception or maybe just piece of a lack of education that a lot of us have is that as we age and our, we feel like our skin gets thinner or, you know, you just go through different challenges, you feel like you need to be so gentle that you don't want to exfoliate. But as Vina mentioned, like that cell turnover is, is happening slower and slower as you age. So you really, it's more important than ever as you age to exfoliate. Um, so just keep that in mind and don't be nervous to, to give it a try. And like every time I do the mask, I'm always like, oh my gosh, my skin yeah. is so smooth. It's yeah. like, I forget or something how smooth it is after I use it every time. And, and people with sensitive skin, you know, understand that the ingredients that is in this volcanic mask, they do take that for account and and simply you, the other thing you can do too is you can put this on let it dry get in the shower and you can start lightly taking it off in the shower i love taking it off in the shower that yeah, it just, me too. It just feels fresh, right? mm -hmm. yeah yeah you know lee said that to me before and i never i don't know why i never thought about that i always felt like oh face masks are for nighttime or whatever but I love that tip because, you know, most people are really busy and they slack on doing things like this because they think they don't have the time, but, you know, wake up, wash your face, put the mask on, brush your teeth, you know, mix up your vitamins if you're drinking isotonics. And then by the time you hop in the shower, it had some time to work its magic for sure. Multitask. And not only that, like your makeup's going to go on smoother too. So don't, don't be afraid to, you know, as long as you're using good makeup, you know, it's, it's not going to do anything, you know, by using it Absolutely. in yeah. the morning. So in the spirit of being empowering and simple, we don't want to overwhelm you with all these different serum products and things like that. So we're really just encouraging you to master the basics of cleanse, tone, moisturize, throw in this exfoliating treatment, this face mask a few times a week, but you're going to see, I, we all feel very confident if you're consistent. That's why our uh, initiative is always 28 days of skin when you commit to a line because consistency is key. So if you're not used to using anything or, or something very minimal, uh, you'll see a big difference just from cleanse, tone, moisturize, and then a few times a week adding in your mask. So why don't we talk a little bit about what the purpose of a toner is? Because I feel like a lot of people have a lot of misinformation on this as well. They think it's like an astringent, which is bad, or they don't think they need it. It's the stuff that most of my clients skip because they don't know why they're supposed to be using it. Um, so toners are going to do actually a couple different things. Now, I'm going to use a spray toner, so you can either spray this right directly on the skin. But if you still feel like you maybe have some mask on, you can spray this on a cotton round because it'll remove any mask or, you know, any like oil or something that you may have missed with your cleanser. Now, I want to just address something in the chat. So when we were saying use the mask in the morning, your mask is separate than a cleanser. So you still want to cleanse day and night, 
no matter what. And then you just want to, you know, use your mask, you know, two to three times a week. You can use it in the morning or at night. And then you always want to follow up with a toner. A toner is also going to bring your skin's pH back to a normal state so that whatever you can put on will absorb in a little bit better. So it's funny because as you start using your toner, it's almost like you can't skip it because your, your skin just like needs it. So you won't use as much serums or moisturizers either because whatever you're putting on can penetrate into the skin. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use my Lumiere de V toner. And this one is, I actually like to use this one at night. And then during the day, I actually use a different toner. I use the Lumiere de V Ohms toning pads. So I'm just going to spray this right in my face. I actually love those. So our Lumiere de V Ohms is our men's line. And I have that upstairs, but there's one of our newer products are these toner pads. Um, and I actually use them at night because I feel like they're just, I like that they're, they're so big, like, um, and I'll do my neck and decollete also, but I feel like it does help finish the cleansing process. Um, the importance of balancing the pH of your skin is really so that, uh, as Lee mentioned, you're maximizing absorptions of the next few steps. So if you're using serums, you're getting more bang for your buck. They're going to be more active. Um, and if you're not, and you're just using your moisturizer, then your, your skin's going to absorb and accept that moisturizer um, more so than if your skin is not pH balanced. So very different than, like for me, I was scarred because I always struggled with my skin when I was younger and I would use like, well, I shouldn't be negative about brands. So I'm not going to say brands, but just very harsh astringents that were alcohol based. Um, and I've learned since then that those are not the best options. <laughs> So any questions on toner? <laughs> and make sure you spray your toner on your neck as well. And I even spray, like I'll use a skin intelligence to spray my entire body when I get out of the shower, because just like your face, you want to do the same thing to your body, right? So if you're going to put moisturizer on, but it, it just refreshes your skin as well. So yeah, a toner should not sting or burn. Um, you know, it should be kind of calming to the skin. Of course, it's always nice when it has a little aromatherapy with it and the scent is good as well. You can kind of just relax. And I like to kind of like pat mine in a little bit after I spray it. Um, and if you use a cotton round, I would just, you know, kind of be gentle with that as well. But yeah, it does. It just feels so good. And a lot of our toners actually have other ingredients in them too that help with like maintaining the moisture level in the skin, you know, depending on what tone you're using, it might help with have some brightening agents in them as well. So I love that you can kind of choose the right one for you. Absolutely. Well, you know, after I, the only time really like you were talking about earlier, Lee, is really the only time I will use a cotton round is after I exfoliate because sometimes I'm not a rock star when it comes to getting everything off. So I do like using this to pick it back up. And for those of you that don't know, there is a lactic acid in, in here. So it's also going to help with that cellular turnover as well. But with the allotonin, it's going to really calm my skin back down because, because of my sensitive skin, when I do an exfoliate, I tend to get real pink as I never thought you all would ever see this, but <laughs> now that you're seeing this, um, I will get a little bit pink, but this tends to really bring that back down. So I, I really love using the cotton rounds afterwards and then I'll do that final spray. It's just a little extra. It's just, it just feels a little extra yeah. treatment for my skin. So what it, toners right? are, are all the other ladies using? Annette, are you sticking with your cell labs for the toner? No. Well, I, I, I actually forgot to bring my cell labs downstairs toner. So I had behind me my um, Lumiere de V toner. So I had a little leprechaun fetch it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't say anything. Get away from the camera. Right, Get me right. that toner. <laughs> so that's what I use tonight. But um, I, I switch off sometimes, though. Um, between the cell labs and the Lumiere de V and actually this feels so nice on my skin right now. Um, well, you know, as we talked about with the seasons too, um, you know, I love in the summer, the skin intelligence because I just like the, it has lavender and chamomile and lemongrass. So it's just like very 
refreshing. It's very gentle. Um, whereas in the winter, when you feel like your skin's more dry and needs help more with that exfoliation, I tend to use the Lumiere de Vie as well. So, you know, again, just based on that's what our topic is tonight, you want to take a seasonal approach. I'd even almost venture to say a day-to-day -day approach, really depending, not all areas have different seasons depending on where you're at, but um, I know that's also the trend now as we, we talk with our social team, but, you know, it's so nice and it feels like total pampering and self-care when you have a variety of products that you love and really depending on your skin that day or really what mood you're in or what you're, you know, wanting to do. It's nice just to have a different option. And I will say, you know, I mentioned earlier that we're a product brokerage company and we have four different um, brands that we bring to the marketplace as an exclusive provider. We do have a team that test markets all of those together and they are designed to work synergistically together. Um, so based on your needs, your budget, whatever you ran out of and you have something left, um, you could mix the different lines. But having said that, I will say really with your essential value system, your cleanse, tone, moisture, those are formulated to work as a trio. So ideally stick with that trio, but then you could piece in more of like your serums and your active treatments based on again, what, what you feel like you need at that time. And there's a savings when you get the value kit too, true. which is nice. It's like around a 10%, you know, savings. So yeah. I, I tend to buy the three piece value kit every time because I seem to get done with them around the same time, which I'm really proud of. Yeah. Cause you have, you ever, have you ever had that where you're like, Oh, I went through my cleanser, but I still have toner or, you know, but if you're using it consistently together, you'll go through it at the same rate. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, uh, any, any questions before we move on? That was all about toners. <laughs> um, Alisa, mm -hmm. P the skin intelligence pH, um, toner has so many other uses also. I keep it in my gym bag. So I do use a Lumiere three piece kit all the time, but I keep the pH normalizer, the skin intelligence in my gym bag, sometimes just to get fresh up. Yeah. Yeah. It's also a great hair conditioner as well. So if anyone's looking for that, it's great for that. It's also great to spray underneath your armpits mm -hmm. to kind of help the pH, you know, balance of your armpits too. And what else do you guys use it for? Because it does I, know, I always feel like an infomercial when we start to talk about this product because it's like, but we let me tell you, I mean, I've had my sons come over here with sunburn and, yep. you know, I'm looking at them and they're like, mom, do you have anything for my sunburn? And I keep a bottle of this in my refrigerator mm -hmm. and I spray it right on them and even insect bites. So, I mean, this yes. is like okay. great for everything. I love it. I have like bottles all around the house with this. I do too. And Marianne yeah. said that it's also good for pets with itchy skin. Oh, Ooh. yeah. It's really oh. great. To, uh, I have very sensitive skin. So when I uh, wax my legs and, you know, all those areas, I feel really itchy. I just want to scratch my skin. So this uh, skin intelligence um, pH normalizer is what I spray all over. <laughs> And, yeah. it, and I don't get any sensitivity after getting a wax done. Yeah. And it smells I, really good too. So it's kind of like calming. Like if you're just kind of having one of those days, you can just kind of spray it and just refresh everything. Refresh your attitude, refresh your energy and, there and you your go. skin. Look at Maury coming in with the really creative thing. She said, it's great for teary eyes when cutting onions. Okay, sister, wow. we're gonna have to for that next time. Never knew that. So Sarah, yeah, I was going to piggyback on what Lee said about you can spray it in your hair to as like a detangle spray almost when um, and a conditioner. an extension of conditioning. But I have really curly hair and I don't wash it very often. So if I want to refresh my hair or reactivate the product that's in it, I'll just spray this all in my hair and then kind of like shake it, let it air dry. Um, and I like that it doesn't get buildup of products like instead of adding water, which is drying and the pH isn't balanced or adding more products all the time. I've even bought a spray specifically for that from the salon, but I don't, it doesn't work as well, even though this is for your face. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, and a leave-in conditioner. But I like Bobby's um, suggestion of just, you can put it in your car or your gym bag, just like Again, when I used to travel, which is what I'm missing these days as much, but um, on an airplane, think about like how dry your skin gets when you're traveling. It's just a really nice little mist or refresh. So. Yeah, so that's definitely a necessity. But yeah, and it's great for, I know people are talking about the hair, but if you have fine hair and you can't generally use like rinse out conditioners because they're too heavy, try this because you'll love it because it's, it's not heavy at all, but it gives just enough conditioner to your hair. All right, so should we do our moisturizer? Yeah. Moisturize and then uh, you you put your face to bed and you're all done. So I'm staying in this Skintelligence line because that's what I decided to use tonight. So I'm going to use the Lumi de B Intense Rejuvenation Cream. And like you guys, like literally all you need, I can't, I don't know if you can even see that because my nails are white, but don't need a lot at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feels so nice. Maybe my skin is smooth. <laughs> yeah, this is, I haven't done that volcanic mask in a while. We also have a sheet mask from Lumiere de Vie, and we also have a sheet mask oh, from Cellular okay. Laboratories. <laughs> um, and the last few times I did a mask, I used a sheet mask. So it's been a while since I did that, this volcanic one. I love, I love the Lumi de V, the, the, my moisturizer, I'm using the Lumi de V and part of it, and, and you guys know, I love that it has the Bakukul in it. Mm -hmm. So that is such a great ingredient. Bakukul, I'm going to say. <laughs> it's you just want to say it. Okay. Thank you, Lee, for pointing that out. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> but I mean, especially for people that are working with their collagen, this is such an amazing moisturizer mm -hmm. to help really um, firm the skin and mm -hmm. hydrate the skin. But more than anything, it helps you build the collagen in your skin. And who doesn't want more exactly. collagen? I do. I do. Right? Yes, I love I love the Lumi to be intense moisturizing. Yeah, I love it. If you're super dry, we have um, the Cellular Laboratories has a de-aging cream, which is just a really nice, rich, you would almost say a night cream. Is that what you're using in that? Yeah. So if you want something light and botanical, you have Skintelligence. If you want something really rich, that's brightening and super hydrating, um, Cell Labs uh, is a great option. And then like Vina said, if you want something more focused on collagen but that's also like a very um it's sort of rich but it's like a whipped texture and it's very quick drying the lumiere de vie mm -hmm. intense rejuvenation cream so that's a great option as well um, oh look you, at and that's even rolling I, so well, yeah you know i have to use the eye cream and i'm like I, i'm i'm just putting it on after i, I do it. it good for you girl because i have naturally puffy eyes and this just works out so nice i mean it's so nice on the skin yeah i, I saw Amelia was using the men's line the ohms line has um an eye serum that has an applicator on the tip Lisa, it was actually your husband that made me get this. Oh, really? So, <laughs> that doesn't surprise you know, I thought Dawn one time you were talking and he was full doing it from the back. So I said, you know what? I better try that. And oh, I love it. Person You're and then I go for my uh, Lumia de V uh, eye balm in the evening and uh, feels so It's good. nice because it has the built in applicator. So you don't have to get a separate tool for that but i really like the texture of that as well the owns eye cream just be gentle you if you're yeah. too aggressive and you squeeze too hard you can get some issues with it um so with all of our products less is more mm -hmm. um i feel like it's easier to add a little bit more if you need to but we tend to be very heavy-handed when we're not used to using a concentrated product so um in fact sometimes maybe vina you can elaborate on this, but sometimes using too much is counteracting what it's supposed to be doing, right? Because it's just building up. 
Right, right. Your, your skin's only going to absorb so much. Mm -hmm. So by, by using more, it might feel better, but again, your skin's only going to absorb to a certain point. So it's just going to sit there. And, you know, we talked about exfoliating, you you make 5 billion skin cells a day, 5 billion. So why would you want to add to it by just having product buildup? Now, the, the great thing is that we have a phenomenal technology for all four of these lines. I mean, phenomenal. But again, your body's only going to absorb so much. And especially if we're in this particular season, like today here, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee today, and the weather was beautiful. But guess what? Tomorrow is going to be cold. So your skin is going to be going back and forth. So you want to stay on that consistency. So when once we get closer to spring, then we'll reevaluate what you want to put on your skin but for right now you really want to stay in the consistency of what you're doing and not using too much mm -hmm. and really like we talked about tonight exfoliating it doesn't matter at least whether you're in summer spring fall or winter you know you need that cellular turnover and you need to get a product and you'll notice everyone didn't use a lot what they did is they used enough to with this active product to really help with that cellular turnover. If you look in the mirror right now and you're not going, wow, I look amazing. Let's get some exfoliation yes. going on your skin. <laughs> yes, we look good. Well, you yeah. made a point that I want to elaborate on how, you know, because you don't need that much and you saw us showing you how much to use. And if you check out Lumiere TV on social, we even have different infographs we've shared before about visually what that amount should look like. Um, but for me, I started using these product lines in college and I was broke and I really didn't have the money and I wasn't educated on what to use. And someone introduced me to our product line. And at first I thought it was more than I was used to spending. So it kind of was off putting at first, but I took a chance on it because at the end of the day, if skin is a very um, intimate thing that is important to us. Right. And I just really wanted better skin. So um, anyway, all that being said, when I started using it, I realized that per use, it was probably less expensive than, than the crap I was buying at the drugstore, um, because it, you know, lasted so much longer. So keep that in mind. If you're a new, uh, customer or you're thinking about trying something, just, you'd be surprised. It's more of an upfront investment, but when you use the targeted amount, you're gonna notice it really does last a long time, but you're worth it and you're gonna see the results, which makes it worth it too, right? So, all right. You all look very nice, very radiant. Yeah. I can always tell after I exfoliate my skin, like the next day, I just feel like my skin is glowing and I'll take that glow any day being 60 now, you know, so <laughs> give me the glow, bring it on. <laughs> you can never have too much glow. That's for no, sure. you can never have too much glow. <laughs> I think we're up to date on all the questions, but I think Susan, what you might be asking is sometimes when you're applying, whether it's a serum or a moisturizer, it feels like there's buildup and that it's not absorbing into your skin. So I would be venturing to say that maybe you're using too much product, like Vina said, or another issue might be that you're not letting the product dry in between steps. Mm -hmm. So again, you don't need to sit there and take like a half an hour to layer things, um, but maybe multitask, right? So if you cleanse and tone and then you're putting on maybe a serum, make sure you're waiting a little while for that to dry before you're adding another one and then adding your moisturizer because if that doesn't absorb and then you keep putting more on it's just going to build like pill is that the word it can only take so much so yeah. it's gonna like it's not going to be able to absorb in or so too, too much sure. i usually like throw a load of laundry in and come back and you know, <laughs> i'm like doing all, oh now it's time for this serum it could be like Dr. D. She does sit-ups and push-ups and squats. I still haven't and done that. I really should. <laughs> when she when told you me that, I was like, piled oh. up, the laundry trumps the squats. I hate to say it. That is so true. I usually around dinner is when like I'll wash my face because while I'm prepping dinner, I'll run in my studio here and I'll do a step or yeah, up in the room when I'm doing laundry. But um, someone else said, you know, make it could be too that she needs to exfoliate. Make sure you're exfoliating on a regular basis again so that everything can absorb into your skin. Yeah, this volcanic mask is amazing. And you'll notice that 
when you go to apply the product, it's so much smoother and you'll use less after exfoliating. Yeah. Too, so. But Lisa, that was a really great point, you know, and that's what I see, uh, especially as an esthetician, we see that our clients will put on I mean, the, what they do is they combine it rather than layer. So remember, you're layering it. You're going to put the first layer on, let it absorb. You're going to put the second layer on, let it absorb. Right. And remember, your moisturizer is there to do one thing, one thing only, and that's to seal everything in. So if you still got product sitting on your skin and you put moisturizer on, it can't do its job. It can't seal it if you're still working with, with having that product absorb in. So that was... So I recently put my moisturizer on my nightstand because again, I'm multitasking and then sometimes do two and that, and then sometimes I'd forget. And it really is so important. Even if some of our treatment products are so moisturizing and they feel so good that you don't feel like you need the moisturizer. So it's easy to forget, but I have it on my nightstand. I have my, my moisturizer as well as my advanced firming neck cream and then I do those when I'm like <laughs> I feel you sister we're on the same wavelength there so and a roller p.s my roller is yeah <laughs> yeah and yeah so and the elixir if we're, if we're gonna go there <laughs> I put the elixir on my cuticles yeah, yeah I rub it in my cuticles and sometimes when my feet get dry I put it on my feet too I mean like that's my like go to for everything is that and amazing. our elixir is meant to be used at the end after your moisturizer so we always can't help ourselves and we we go way way in there when we're trying to keep it simple but clearly we love those products so <laughs> closing thoughts anyone else lee i think we did a good job keeping up with questions christine was on the chat there Thank but um but congratulations to all of our skincare challenge winners. And thank you so much for being here tonight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's awesome. And like, for those of you that are unfranchised owners, we already have the new skincare challenge ready and out and there for everybody. So make sure you start and yeah. win the next yeah. one. Yeah. And thank you for bearing it all and leading by example and joining us tonight. Uh, this it was, was fun. fun. Yes. Thank, thank you for having us. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you so much Let's for having us. Guys. We Bye miss everyone. Good night. Bye, Bye to everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Happy Thank you. Hey, how do we Special match? Day. <laughs>